and they have a lot of bags and uh, their pricing is really, really good. Me and the other four ladies are actually posting our giveaway on Instagram right now. I also wanted to quickly show you guys this. Look how pretty, I just got this in the mail. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Fashion Friday. Today's vlog is all about handbags. So I was really excited to do this video because I just thought I would combine all of your asked questions into one video and do a what's in my bag, do a handbag collection, and just kind of talk about my favorite handbags and ones that I don't like so much anymore. Uh, so I'm going to be going through all that today. It's also going to be a vlog. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you around my beauty space and all my handbags. And if you guys know me well, I definitely am a handbag girl, more so than shoes and just about everything else, clothing. Uh, so I really do love handbags. So if you guys wanna see more videos like this, give it a thumbs up and let's get started. And I'm actually all dressed up right now, which is why I wanted to film because I was just taking a ton of photos for my Instagram. I'm actually doing a giveaway with uh, four other lovely ladies on Instagram for Nordstrom gift cards. So make sure you guys go check it out. Uh, right here though, I do have my Neverfull, which this bag is just, I've said this so many times, is the most useful bag and I use it all the time. So I'm going to go through that after, but I do use this one, which I love this one. It's so pretty and I use it for decor a lot of the time, but it is my date night bag. So I have been using it a lot and I love the fact you can wear it as a crossbody. So that's what it looks like there, but I really love crossbody bags just because I never have hands anymore when I'm with the girl. So crossbody is the way to shop these days. And I really just love the color. I love the big logo as well. So I think that's so pretty. I was almost gonna get this in beige, but I use this one so much that it would just be kind of pointless to get a beige as well. And obviously I love pink, even though I am transitioning into a lot of beige because I have a lot of pink bags. Uh, I will get into that after, but yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite bags of all time, you guys. And the reason why I wanted to do a vlog today, vlog style, is because Vlogmas is happening right now. So I'm not actually doing it, but I was like, why don't I just get out a ton of vlogs? And I know you guys like these sorts of videos, but I do have this bag right here. This is actually the one I took a photo with on Instagram. So let's get up close to her. This was actually my very first Gucci bag and it's so pretty and I know it's such a different bag than what I would typically go for but I, I think I've always loved really thick chains and I don't know like the snake part in the front here I wasn't intrigued um, with this bag at first but then like when I saw all the jewels and it was just a very unique bag I think that's why I ended up getting it but I really do love this bag the only thing is it is suede, so you have to be very careful with the material. That's the only thing I don't like about this bag, but it is beautiful. It is so beautiful, and it's great for the holidays, too. I find it's just that perfect bag that really stands out, and I can actually wear this as crossbody. It's just a little bit high because the chain's not as long, but it is really nice as a crossbody as well. It does work, but I just thought I would take a photo with it for my Instagram just because I haven't worn it in a long time, and it's so pretty, so... I'm gonna try it on and show you guys what it looks like. So this is it right here. So like I said, you can wear it just like this or you can go the long way, which I prefer the long way. But like I said, if I do crossbody, it is really high, but I think I would just wear it off my shoulder like this for uh, the most part. I really do love this bag though. It's so different. So I'm not sure if you can still get it at Gucci, but uh, I'll try to find these bags that I have down below because you can get a lot of them pre-loved these days So I will try to find one for you, but yeah, I love this bag So I did want to mention about this bag too. I find it's a little hard to open. It has that like Clasp thing right here. So I find it's difficult especially if you have nails. See I can't even do it right now Okay, and you have to push it quite hard it's really hard to do with nails though, but I love the inside of the bag. There's so much space in here. I know I've showed this before and I love the color. It's like a nicer pink, like darker pink on the inside, but it has a separate zipper right here, which I really do like when bags have that because you can put 
receipts in there or just like cash or whatever you want right so it's zipped up and secure and it has this little pocket right here in the front that i don't really use but i mean you could but yeah i just want to let you know that it is a little bit hard to open but i just love the overall look of the bag and the bling like the bling stood out to me so much when i bought it and i just think this is going to be a really classic bag and it still is one of my favorites in my collection so i just love the style and the look and then the other two i have right here this is like the miniest wallet i have it's actually, I think, a little bit smaller than the Twist wallet, uh, but really, really cute, and it's just that really cute baby wallet that I love to take if I have a smaller bag. Like, say I was taking out this bag, I would probably pair it with something like that because it's so small and petite. And then this one right here, this I actually got off Fashion File, so I really find Fashion File is hit or miss. Some of their pricing is so overpriced, and especially being in uh, Canada, I have to pay duties on it as well, but... I did see this and it was just that item that I just wanted to get so badly before the iridescent collection came out. So it is a different pink and I do kind of regret it a little bit because I fell so much more in love with the iridescent collection than this one. This is more of like a rosy pink, but it is still really beautiful. And of course, on my shelves right here, which is the IKEA pack system, I have all of my handbags. So you can't really see these ones over here as much just because I have my Christmas tree up, which you guys know. I love Christmas and I love December and I don't mind. I just love having this Christmas tree up and it always goes in my beauty room. It just goes along with the colors I have in here, my color theme. But anyway, so I do have handbags over here. I try to keep them all in the same sections. Uh, so the bigger ones are up top right there and I will bring them down to show you guys and right on this side I do have it's actually one of my favorite sections I know you guys have seen um, seen it in like my uh, beauty room tour and stuff like that but this right here is where I keep all of like my smaller wallets and smaller uh, wallet on chains and stuff like that so I actually have I've been using my Prada wallet right now uh, so that is actually in my Neverfull, but these ones right here, I went crazy when the Iridescent collection came out, you guys. I was just obsessed. The color is so unique and so beautiful. Like, I've never seen anything like it. You can actually see how it sparkles. And I remember so many of you, after I did my unboxing, went and got something from this collection. So it is so beautiful. I keep seeing it everywhere on pre-love sites, but it is expensive, so you have to be careful. Uh, but it is one of those, I think, um, exclusive lines that came out with Chanel that will always be so popular. So right here, I have this small wallet, and then this one is actually a wallet on chain, which I really like this bag. I take it out a lot of the time because uh, I can use it as a wallet, but also use it crossbody. This one right here... This is probably one that I like the least just because it doesn't have a zipper and at the time I really liked it and thought it would be useful but at the same time I really like having a zipper just so like my cards don't fall out or I'm not you know dropping anything but it is a really pretty wallet. Uh, this one right here is actually the phone bag so not that I ever really put my cell phone in here so um, yeah you can wear this crossbody or just hold it like a clutch and then it has two zippers. And, okay, so I talk about this bag all the time. This was actually in one of my favorites videos. If I can get it out, there we go. So this right here, I will leave a link down below. Uh, this is still on the Louis Vuitton website. This is one of the most useful bags for, like, wallet on chains. And I love the fact, I know I showed you guys this before, but it actually comes with two separate pouches when you purchase it. So I think it's a great price and a great first investment into, like, a smaller bag. So just to show you what it comes with, right here you can put like your receipts and stuff, right here you can put your cards, and I just think that's really nice that a little bag like that comes with both of these. It's actually pretty crazy. And then right in here you have the gold chain as well if you wanted to wear it as a crossbody or you can use it as a clutch. So I actually have the red one, which you guys have seen that I use like pretty much every day. I've had it for the last oh my goodness I think six years now. So this one's more recent because I loved the pale pink and you guys can probably tell I love I have the Elma bag up there too but I love the color that Louis Vuitton came out with um, so it's that like ballerina really nice pale pink and I love it uh, so yeah I just wanted to show you that like if you are thinking about getting a wall and chain this is a really great price and deal because you get so much with it uh, the other one right here I actually got from Ryan so this was for my last birthday or Christmas I can't remember you guys <laughs> all right this is a vlog style so I'm just gonna 
put my camera anywhere so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see uh, right here and oh yeah you can see the pink a lot more clear now so it is like a brighter pink uh, so this is actually a really nice gift idea too for someone but yeah it has like a thicker chain you can see right here it has a lot of space on the inside which I really really like and it has a separate pocket right here so I do think this was a really nice bag and I still love it to this day um, I wear it a lot actually too I'd say I alternate this one and then uh, the Chanel wallet on chain which I take this one out for special occasions this one right here and I will leave a link down below on this bag because I really do think this is a useful bag if you are looking at buying a wallet on a chain and then the other ones I have right here so ooh, I wanted to show you this one so if you haven't been following me for that long and you didn't see my vlog that I did when we went to Santa Monica I actually got the twist wallet right here let's get up close that's what it looks like and when you open it up, I actually got the girls' names engraved. So Louis Vuitton does that. You can get stuff engraved at their shop. Look how nice that is. So it just makes me remember the trip. By the way, I'm missing two nails right here. I have a nail appointment tomorrow, so bear with me. Uh, but yeah, I just really, really love the fact that they do customize stuff like that because I love anything engraved and personalized these days. And if I can do it on my wallets and my handbags, I will. Um, for certain items that I don't think that I'll ever resell so you have to be careful with that because if you are planning on reselling it you shouldn't have like personalization like that um, but right here I also have the same print that I showed you guys so it's that same ballerina color and that's what it looks like on the inside there I really like this wallet it's a nice one it's bigger it's a lot bigger and then this was actually one of the very first things I bought from Louis Vuitton so this is like the little change purse I don't use it all that often you can put cards in it too uh, but I find I just take out a wallet it's a bit small so I don't really use it and I don't have a lot of cash on me all the time and change I don't even like to keep change in there but it is good if you're looking to just have like a few cards with you okay I feel like I was really in depth with that I hope you enjoyed that but I don't think I've ever been that in depth on like my handbags before but okay basically right here too uh, I keep some of my Chanel's Louis Vuitton bags I couldn't fit this bag on the other side there, but I might move things around. I don't know. I don't know. But this one right here, this is, I'm not sure what year this is. I want to say like 2014, 2015, something like that. It is like the prettiest bubblegum pink. And I actually bought this off my friend Alice here on YouTube. And I just fell in love with it. And she has so many pink bags. If you check out her Instagram, that's another thing too. Like I know her, Saki, there are some really big pink bags handbag lovers on Instagram so if they're selling their bags definitely check it out and uh, that's also probably what I would do I'd probably look at doing something like that in the future if I was planning on selling my bags just reaching out to other girls that I know like love pink on Instagram so this one has the gold hardware I love this bag I'm gonna show it to you guys on oh you guys it is starting to snow outside and it is December 2nd today so it's it's kind of nice like I used to not like snow but I really love it now it's just so like festive and everything looks so pretty <sighs> but I'm not taking my handbags out I refuse to when it's snowing see I feel like this color picks up so well on camera look at that pink it is so beautiful oh I'm so happy I got this bag and to this day this is still one of my favorite bags so you can have it look like this and excuse my socks <laughs> But yeah, this is what it looks like. I feel like this is a really nice size too. This is the, sorry, the medium classic flap. So I would say I do have a small classic flap, but I really like the medium. I think it's a good size, especially if you are shopping. Um, and then the smaller one I think could be used for date night, but this is really a nice everyday bag. By the way, you guys, look how cute this little baby Chanel bag is. So no, it's not real, but doesn't it look real? So I actually got this from my friend Nina for the girl's birthday. So it's not for me, it's for the girls uh, when they're a bit older and they can play with these and wear these when we're out, match me, which would be really cute. Uh, but for now, I just keep them as decor in my space. But I'll leave a link down below because I keep getting asked all the time where these are from. Uh, so yeah, it's from a boutique and I'll leave the name on the screen here and then also leave it linked down below for you guys. So really cute idea. If you have a little girl, I think that's a really great idea and just something super cute. The other one I got was in this like dusty rose color. So it does have like the same chain and stuff. They are a little bit different though, different style. This is like the classic flap. I really love the white one. 
I love this one so much. I think it's so cute. And then this is the other option, but they have other stuff in other uh, designer brands. So yeah, I love checking out her shop. She has an online store, so definitely check her out. All right, you guys. So I wanted to quickly talk about this. I have a handbag up here my new backpack that I got for my birthday from Vancouver if you guys would have seen that video so I want to quickly show you so this is basically like where I hang some of my clothes and I still have to redo this but uh anyways I just wanted to quickly show you guys so this is my Prada backpack that I have and I bought it because I loved the color I also really needed a backpack at the time uh so I'm gonna take it off and show you guys really quickly um yeah the color is like really beautiful i really love the color and it's something so different and unique it had a bunch of stuffing in here when i purchased it and i didn't even think that it would like deflate like this and it just loses all its shape and it's such a flexible bag so i really don't like the fact that it does that because i really liked when it was it had all the stuffing in it but i just thought i would show you guys what this looks like on so it does come down pretty low uh, and I do like the color. I still like the bag, but I don't like the fact that it's so flexible that it loses all its shape. I do like structured bags, I think, a little bit more, and now looking back on it, I probably feel like I should have waited for, like, the Louis Vuitton or something that's got a harder material because I don't like the shape anymore. So, yeah, I just keep it up here for right now. I do like how much room it has, but just the shape bothers me a little bit and I just wanted to let you guys know that if you do like uh, structured bags more then definitely don't go for one like this and maybe look at like Louis Vuitton because they have some really beautiful ones. Okay so if you guys were wondering what my very first Chanel handbag was ever it was this one right here and I actually got this one off Yoji's closet and I talked about them I think a few days ago on my Insta stories. They are awesome for a pre-loved site and they have a lot of bags and uh, their pricing is really, really good. So I went with this one and I was really happy. It's the silver hardware, the Chanel Jumbo and it is beautiful. I love the color. It was really hard for me to decide between the gold and silver but I just thought at the time that silver would go with more of my outfits. I still love the gold. I think I would have gone with the gold but I, this is such a classic bag that will never go out of style you guys and it is a large bag so you can fit so much into it and this is where it comes down to on me so I am quite short. I'm only 5'2 but it is a massive bag. Huge huge bag. Like I said though, I am transitioning into more cream colors right now and more nude bags. So there is one that I've had my eye on that I really want to find. Uh, so I'll leave a picture on the screen right here so you can see what I'm looking for, but it is the Le Boy uh, Chanel and it's a really beautiful beige with gold hardware. So that is my next bag that I want to get if you were wondering. But I love this bag so, so much. It is so big and just thought I would quickly show you guys the inside. Oh my goodness, I just love it. I love the color so, so much. And I'm happy I did go with the silver because they both are beautiful bags, the silver and gold. And obviously those are two colors that are really hard to kind of choose between. Even when I'm shopping for jewelry, it's hard for me to decide. So I just want to show you like how big this bag is on me, but it can fit a lot. It can fit a lot. Okay, so I just went and got my classic flap right here. So this is the small size that I have. And I want to say this is the last bag that I purchased. So this was the iridescent collection that came out. And it is still, to this day, my favorite. I love this bag so, so much. And the small is a really nice size. It's perfect for date night. And the color is just so beautiful. So I'm going to get up close to show you guys. This is just so beautiful. I love it so much and on the inside here so it's the same the classic bags are all the same so it looks the same as the jumbo that I just showed you just has less room so this is the perfect date night size bag I find and I don't ever take my jumbo for like date night or anything like that this is also the perfect size shopping bag so I really like a bag this size when I'm shopping and medium medium or small I would go with but this is just my favorite bag. So I'm going to just show you where it comes to on my shoulder here. So that's where it comes to. And obviously you guys can go the long way if you wanted and wear it a bit longer where it comes up to there. So I just feel like this is a color I will never not like because obviously pink is my favorite color. But 
the just iridescent and the sparkle to this bag is so beautiful and especially for the holidays i feel like this is a really nice like christmas bag because it just shines so much but i feel like any time i wear this bag it just stands out so much and it's just such a statement piece so oh i just am so happy this is probably one of my uh, best investments that I've made because they still hold their value so much and I find that so important uh, to choose bags that hold their value so I am really keen on doing that and all of my bags the good thing about pink bags is they really keep their value because they usually are limited pieces just like this one so that is also another thing to look for but I was on the real reel the other day and it's nice because they have a little thing you can click on where it shows you that this is like an investment piece or like you know you'll be able to get your your money back and you know it'll hold its value so that's really really important I feel like I have kept such good care of all of my handbags they are all they are all in like mint condition and I have always been really big on just being careful with them and I've told you stories about what I do like when I go to restaurants and stuff I usually put my handbag on a napkin if it's like a Chanel bag I just want to be very careful and especially for anything that you uh, plan to resell one day then just be super careful with it this is a bag I don't ever plan on selling so it is it's gone through a lot this is like my airport bag the one that I travel with the most you can see on the inside here I've like got blue ink I don't know if you can see that maybe not but this bag's been through a lot and I feel like I don't take uh, good care of it anymore just because it's been through a lot so I plan on just keeping this bag myself and not like ever reselling it but it is a really nice sturdy bag I love like to this day it looks brand new and I've had this bag for I want to say four years and it looks just how you know not on the inside but the outside has remained really nice and you can't even tell it's that old uh, and also you can actually put these parts in but I never do that I don't know I just like it looking bigger, I guess. But yeah, this is the one that came with the design on it and it actually came with like a little uh, bag on the inside, but I never really use it. And another thing, if you're planning on getting this bag, oh, here's my Prada wallet. I told you guys I was using this one, so that was a little what's in my bag. So this I actually got off Fashion File and this was my first purchase with them was this little Prada wallet. So I do have that. And then another thing I wanted to show you guys that's a must if you have a Neverfull is this insert. I will leave a link down below and just to show you guys what I have in my bag, I might as well. Mints, which are all out. I need to go buy new ones. I just put this in my bag yesterday. So this is the gingerbread or spiced gingerbread hand cream. So I actually picked this up. Um through the sale that Bath & Body Works had. So on Black Friday, they actually had buy three, get three. So how cute is this little hand cream? I have been using that. And then I also have a little uh, day planner. So this right here, I'm actually gonna have to get a 2021 soon. So I do have that one. It has a little pen in it, so that's why I like it. And then of course I have my passport right here. So uh, I just have this from the last time that I traveled. So that's that. And I think I got that at Anthropology, but you really need an insert if you are planning on getting the bag it just keeps you so organized because it's a very deep bag and it's easy to like get lost in it and there's just a lot of stuff and oh look what else i have in my bag candy canes from when we went and saw santa so those got in my bag because they were actually trying to eat them so i was like oh, oh the other thing i have usually um, in the winter months is Fisherman Friends. They don't taste the best, but they do work if you have a sore throat. So I do have that. I also have tissues. So anytime I'm out with the girls, it's just good to have this just in case. Uh, and then the other thing I do have, which is not hanging on my bag, is a bag charm. So I have this little one right here. Right here we have fresh sugar. So this is my favorite lip balm. I always keep it in my bag and that is basically it. So like I said, a lot of stuff can fit in this bag, but I just wanted to kind of show, oh. <laughs> I have this too so yeah i usually have a little snack in there for me so little treat little treat but that is everything oh sorry last thing so i do have this little mirror my mom got this for me when she went to vienna so just really cute and i like to just have a mirror at all times in my bag just in case i have lipstick on my teeth which seems to happen a lot and um if you were wondering too i know i'm probably gonna get a question on like did you get lip injections your lips look so big no, I've never had lip fillers, injections, nothing. I just, 
I think naturally have really large lips, so do my mom and brother. Um, but I actually bought the Patrick Ta Lip Liner, and it goes so perfect with my lipstick, which is the Strip Search by Too Faced. It has been a hidden gem in my life, and I love it. It is in the color, I think it's called She's Humble. So it's called She's Humble, and it is the most beautiful nude lip liner so if you're looking to make your lips look fuller just go outside of your lip line a little bit and that's what i do so really easy to do and then you don't have to get lip injections or fillers or anything <laughs> so i just wanted to let you guys know that because i find lip liners actually very hard to find and especially a good one and one that can really blend in with your lipstick color which you already know i wear strip search by Too Faced. that's all i wear every day also if you guys missed my last video i actually did a full vanity cleaning and I cleaned this room and my vanity is so nice and clean now and I don't have as much stuff as I did before on it uh, but I do have like all of my uh, Chanel and Tom Ford and high-end luxury brands in here in this little tray so I really like that I think it looks really good I thought I would tell you guys just in case I had some questions about it but this is from uh, house of cb and it's so beautiful it's just the nicest cashmere sweater it's so soft and oh it's just keeping me so warm for the holidays and it's become like my favorite sweater jacket sweater jackets are really hard to find um that are nice and tight like around the waist but also keep you warm so it's just the best of both worlds it's also not super long on me which i like usually i have that issue <laughs> Now that bag up there is my Alma and it's the large one and this bag here I actually did I think one of the very first what's in my bag videos was this bag here from my old condo if you remember years ago uh, But it has the little gold lock right there. I love this bag so much I just find the handles are a little bit awkward uh, to hold so you do have to hold it like this And like I said, it's just hard for me to take out a bag like this because I need something crossbody uh, where I don't always, I'm not always having to hold it, but it is such a beautiful bag. And they do have this in the smaller size as well. It does come in like a little baby version. Yeah, see, so you can put your hands through it, but it just is kind of like an awkward handle. I wish the handle was a little bit longer so I can actually get my hand through without it being like difficult to. Uh, but I love the size. It is really big. You can fit a lot into this bag. Now, if you're looking for something for date night, I would probably go with a smaller one, but this is like a nice everyday size bag. And I believe this bag actually comes in a ton of other colors, so I'll leave a link down below. Uh, but like I said, the Rose Ballerine is my favorite color, but I have seen this color, um, or sorry, this bag come in different colors as well. And it's all over. They do, I think, have them still on the Louis Vuitton website, but I'm pretty sure you can find them pre-loved now. And it is an older style bag, but still one that I love so much. Okay, so now I'm taking a little break because me and the other four ladies are actually posting our giveaway on Instagram right now. So I thought this would be a good time. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you are. I have so many giveaways going up for the month of December. And right now we're actually doing a $500 Nordstrom gift card. So it's a really good time to get a handbag or anything else that you want. Uh, but I'm posting in a minute, which is this photo here. And it took me like an hour because Ryan was actually watching the girls. Usually he helps me, but uh, they were really busy today. So I had to take them myself and it's not, not the easiest, uh, but okay. Posting, posting, posting. I just went and grabbed this bag right here, which is also another one of my favorite handbags. It probably is one of my handbags that fits the most amount of stuff. And this I actually got, I want to say a year or two years ago. Uh, but I actually have a full video up on this uh, handbag. So if you want to watch it, I'll leave a link down below. I did a full what's in my bag and you can see how much I got in here. It actually fits my laptop and I have the MacBook Air. Uh, so it's a beautiful, it's that same pattern, but it's not like the shiny patent and it's more matte, but I love it. It's such a stunning bag and you can wear it crossbody. I don't ever wear it crossbody, but it does come with a strap, but I usually just wear it on my hand just like that. You guys probably can't see it often because I actually have it hiding behind the Chanel, uh, which is kind of mean, I know, but uh, I'm going to have to rearrange some of my bags actually. I'll probably do that sometime this week. 
maybe I can make that into another video but uh, for right now I do because I had to transition some of like my winter decor in here I had to move stuff around uh, so the other bag before I forget one of my favorites this is the classic wallet on chain Chanel the iridescent collection this is probably a bag that I use I want to say the most often out of the entire um, iridescent collection. The only thing is the button, because I'm doing it with one hand, is a little hard to open. There we go. Um, I didn't have to press too, too hard, but it is a little hard to open. So this is what it looks like on the inside here if you haven't seen it. So it has all the card slots. It does have like a pocket right in the front in this part right here. And then you can either have it as a side um, or as a crossbody bag, or you can wear it just as as it is, like a clutch. So that's also another option. I actually like holding it just like a clutch. I think it's really classy to do that. And oh, it is sparkly, it's so sparkly. I just am obsessed. And uh, yeah, this is just such a nice holiday bag because uh, it's just nice and petite, so if we're going out, take them, uh, the girls to go meet Santa or whatnot, like, this is just a nice bag to do that. And I don't have too much on me, which is really nice, uh, but I just wanted to quickly show you that. The other bag I have right here is my Gucci, so Gucci Mermont. This is one of my very first Gucci bags, and I bought it because it had this really neat S on the back here, so I really liked that. And you guys, I think I'm obsessed with anything that has a thick chain. It just is my type of handbag and I still love this bag to this day and it is that handbag that like everybody has and definitely a little bit less unique than the other bags I've purchased but I do like how much you can fit in it and I feel like it is really easy to pair up with outfits so I do use this a lot during the summer months. Okay so my next one right here I've already told this funny story I didn't even know what this handbag could be this small and it's the micro the micro dior so i didn't even know this existed but it is so tiny you guys like it's it's tiny it's like a bag that the girls can have when they're older <laughs> it's so small but i got it really discounted on fashion file so i just ended up buying it um but it can't fit that much in it at all so it does have like a big chain um i thought it was the bigger one and i thought i was getting a super crazy deal and I was like, oh, when it came in, it's so small, but it is cute. It's cute. It's a small little, a small little bag. All right. So this is where it goes up to on me and it's actually quite long. I do like it. It is really cute. I just wish it was the bigger one that I could get more use out of it and wear it more often. So it is a really nice shade of pink and the Dior bags, uh, Lady Dior, so beautiful. I really do love Dior and it's not a brand that I shop at very often, but this is a really stunning bag and I don't have any Dior bags actually, so this is the only one I have, but really happy um, I found a color this pretty. It is a really nice shade of pink. I know too that these videos can seem like very conceited and you know, the handbag collections always get so much love and hate at the same time, uh, but I really like being helpful for people that are looking to buy handbags. And I know for myself, before I purchase a handbag, I watch videos, reviews on it. I want to see what it looks like on. Uh, so that is why I wanted to do a video like this. And handbags is something I'm so passionate about. And my family knows that. Ryan knows that. There's certain things people are passionate about. Ryan's passionate about cars. And I'm sure all of you have something you're passionate about. So I've always loved handbags since I was a little girl. Uh, so of course I love designer and luxury as well. Uh, and I just feel like it's something I love to talk about on my channel because I'm really passionate about it, so. But yeah, clearly if you have been watching my channel for a while now, you know I'm not about that. I'm not showing off in any ways. It's just nice that I can find something that I'm passionate to talk about. And also I relate to a lot of people in that sense. I know a lot of my viewers and followers love handbags as well. Uh, so yeah, I feel like shoes I see a lot of too, but I'm just, I'm such a handbag kind of girl. Uh, but yeah, let me know down in the comments if you guys are shoe girls or handbag girls, because I know it's usually one or the other. <laughs> All right, so next bag right here. This is the latest one that I've bought. So it's so cute. It's a little tiny uh, Prada bag. So I actually got this for my birthday when I was in Vancouver, and I am not a black uh, kind of handbag girl and I usually gravitate towards pink or nude but there was something about this bag in black that I really did like and of course I can't find okay so this 
is a crossbody bag as well but i cannot find uh the strap right now i think i put it somewhere in my closet but this is such a cute bag and it's also really cute to hold and i remember for was it my birthday or ryan's birth my birthday uh with ryan we went out for dinner and i took this bag with me and it's so cute for date night so it does come in white that was the hard decision i had to make if i wanted to buy it in white or black but I don't know the black is just really sleek and i just love the black and uh that's the inside there you can't fit much obviously you can fit a lipstick and a few cards and that's it so it is the date night type of bag uh or if you're i don't know if you're grabbing groceries or something if you're going somewhere where you don't need a lot of stuff then this bag is really cute and it is really cute too when you wear white with it i think i was wearing a white outfit but this is what it looks like on white. So it just stands out a lot as you guys can see. Um, but just a tiny little little bag. I'll leave a link down below because they still have this up on their um, website. So I didn't get it long ago. My birthday was in October. So it is fairly a new bag and I love the heart. Look at that up close. Look how beautiful that is. It's so different and unique. I really tend to go for unique and different types of bags. Uh, so this is just something I've never seen before. So I was really excited. I also wanted to quickly show you guys this. Look how pretty. I just got this in the mail. And I was just taking photos of it actually. But it's called Rose Forever. And these are the flowers right here. Look how stunning. So I ended up going with the round black and uh, the white flowers. So it is really nice. They have classic black packaging. And like I said, I've really... Been and gravitating towards black lately i really love it and also these are the flowers right here so they come in multiple colors they last over a year they're so beautiful and this is just like the perfect decor piece and in your beauty space so i'm really excited i have to find a nice little spot for it and i just want to quickly show you guys how pretty that is so i'll leave a link down below on their store all right, you guys, so that was my handbag vlog. I hope you had fun. I know it was a super long video, but I wanted to be in depth with you and kind of just go over all my handbags again because I feel like I haven't talked about them in a while and I am looking at getting a new one, as I told you guys, and I'm really, really excited. Um, so I have to be patient on finding that bag. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you want to see more videos like this about my handbags where I kind of just show you everything and do a what's in my bag, show you my collection, all in one video then let me know and i will do one in the um next year so 2020 so very excited <sighs> i can't believe we're in december it honestly blows my mind uh but thank you guys again for all your love and support i hope you have been enjoying my videos and i will see you guys on makeup monday mm -hmm.